Number 15. Many of the items you purchase are mixtures of pure compounds. Select three of these commercial products and prepare a list of the ingredients that are pure compounds. Okay, so your answers are going to be different than mine in this case because we have different things in our house. What I picked up here is I picked up a package of ramen. So that's the first guy over here. This is, I believe, it's Captain Crunch. Mm. <laughs> And then this one is Diet Coke. Okay, so let's just pretend we're going to look for our pure compounds in ramen, Captain Crunch, and in Diet Coke. There's a ton of them. If I scan through ramen, let's do ramen first, second, and then third. So if I scan through ramen right now, there's so many compounds here. And that's why they are mixtures. Because remember what a mixture is. A mixture is just two or more compounds coming together. These are super complicated mixtures. Look at all of these compounds. They're coming together to make a mixture. Now we just got to select three of them. <laughs> we got to select three of them, and we're just going to list them as pure compounds. You could technically just select any of these, but I'm just going to select the ones that would be the easiest to write down. So as I go from left to right, we got enriched flour, palm oil, salt. That would be one of them. I know that salt is NaCl. That's a compound. Compounds are pure pure substances, so there's one of them. If I keep scrolling down here, let's see, what else do I know? <laughs> Potassium carbonate is another pure compound. Potassium carbonate is K2CO3. If I keep going, we have potassium chloride. That's KCl. So there's already three of them that I know. But you could have basically just wrote down all of these. The question doesn't say specifically what the chemical symbols are, but I just wrote them just to show you guys. All right, moving on to number two, Captain Crunch. Let's look at these compounds and see if we could pick out a couple of them. So right off the bat, corn flour, sugar, definitely. That's a pure compound. We know what sugar is, c 6 h 1206 So let's see if we could find two more. We got brown sugar, coconut oil. There's that salt again. Salt is in everything. <laughs> um, so that's NaCl. And then let's see if we can find a third one. Sodium citrate. That's a pure compound. Sodium citrate, I'm just going to write all the way down here. Beep, beep, beep. I'm going through the maze. Sodium citrate is a big compound. It's Na3C6H5O7. Whew, crazy, but that's a pure compound, and those are your three. But once again, you could have labeled any of these. Folic acid, riboflavin, or flavin, however you want to pronounce it. Those are all pure compounds. Last but not least, Diet Coke. I'm looking at the ingredients list, so over here, and the first one that I see, thank goodness it's the first one, it's water. So water, we know, is H2O. That's a pure compound. We just got to find two more. They got caramel coloring, phosphoric acid. That's another pure compound. Phosphoric acid, I'm going to put over here, is H3PO4. And then, let's see if I scan through these, we also have citric acid. Citric acid is another pure compound, and I'll drag that down over here. Citric acid is H3C6H5O7. You might see citric acid as H... Well, actually, I won't put the H in the front. You might see it as C6H8O7, but remember, you have three hydrogens here, you have five hydrogens here, so they're just saying that there's a total of eight hydrogens. doesn't matter where you put them in order, they just have to be the same number. All right, guys, that's how you identify your pure compounds in a complete mixture. So just going over it, remember ramen, Captain Crunch, 
Diet Coke, any of the commercial products that you have at home that has an ingredients list is going to be a mixture. You just had to find three compounds. Basically, all of these are going to be compounds. And I just went a little bit further to give you the chemical composition. But that is that. Guys, I hope this helped a lot. Um, if it did, click that subscribe button. That would help us a lot out. And you also get to know when the next questions are coming to you. With that, I will see you all in the next lesson. Have a great day, guys. Bye.